The cell prepares for meiosis just as it does for mitosis. But as the DNA condenses, each chromosome finds its homologous counterpart. These matching pairs of chromosomes hold equivalent genetic information, one set from mother and one from father. Next comes the first shuffle of nature's genetic deck. The two homologues trade genes in a process called crossing over. This forms new hybrid chromosomes. The spindles then place maternal and paternal chromosomes randomly on each side of midline. It is another shuffle that can lead to a host of different genetic outcomes. Finally, spindle fibers pull the homologs apart. This leaves the sister chromatids intact. Most eukaryotic cells follow a process of growth and division called the cell cycle. These events include a growth stage, mitosis or nuclear division, and cytokinesis or division of the cytoplasm. Throughout interphase, the cell is engaged in growth and metabolic activities. Interphase can be further broken down into three discrete phases called G1, S, and G2. During the G1, or first growth phase, normal cell functions occur as well as cell growth. In the S phase, DNA replicates, producing two copies of each chromosome. During the G2 phase, the cell continues to prepare for mitosis and cell division. Mitosis, or the M phase, has four stages, prophase, metaphase, <clears throat> okay, so here is a bacteriophage, uh, sometimes just called a phage. Now, a bacteriophage is a virus that infects bacteria. So here we have this um, green, right here, cell wall. This is the cell wall of the bacteria. Now, the blue part is our bacteriophage, and inside, as you can see here, inside the phage is where the DNA is located, and that DNA will be injected into the bacteria and then will either enter into the lytic life cycle or the lysogenic life cycle of the bacteria. Um, so when we see here, for example, we have two um, we have two uh, life cycles that the DNA can take place, the lysogenic or the lytic life cycles. Uh, sometimes certain kinds of phage uh, DNA or virus DNA can exist in the lysogenic life cycle and then enter in to the lytic life cycle later on um, in its life. So what happens, so up here at start we have our, our bacteriophage. Now um, the bacteriophage is going to in, um, infect the bacteria.